Good morning. So today is July 9th, 2019. It's our third day on the North Coast Trail. Uh, it's been absolutely amazing so far. Beautiful, beautiful scenery, challenging, uh, rewarding. And anyway, it's early in the morning here on a beautiful beach, a pocket beach. And we're just having our coffee, having our breakfast, looking over the map, and yeah, just getting ready for the for another full day. <laughs> Should be a pretty pretty tough day today. We got two very difficult uh, spots to go through, and uh, two cable cars, and so it should be a pretty eventful day. Got an amazing view here. So how far are we going today, Poppins? Well, I think we have maybe about, um, well, we've got 10K over, we're around here right now, and we're not quite at the 30K mark. And then we got a cable car down here, and a cruise up around this area, and then this is a very difficult portion of trail up here. Uh, that's a 40k mark, so that's about actually maybe 12k from where we are. That should probably take us a good part of the day. Yeah. And then we're going to go from here to here, this little orange area. So we've got some more pocket beaches like we're at right now. Um, very difficult portion of trail. And then this is our other cable car crossing the Nawiti River. And we're going to camp just beyond that. So that'll be the end of the day. Um, hopefully it'll still be light out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yesterday was a pretty big day. Ended up probably doing around 27, 28 kilometers. Um, but overall, nothing really challenging. So kind of looking forward to seeing what we're going to get ourselves into today. Um, see how challenging it will be. I know it will be challenging, but we'll just see how tough it really is. <laughs> All right, see you on the trail. Well, we're all packed up. That's where we had our tent, right in that little corner. Really, really nice spot. So glad we found that so late in the day. Really comfortable morning. Wonderful day to be hiking. Well, we've just left the beach and we are back in the woods for a little while. Just passed a group of six and yeah, they said that this was a nice easy, nice easy section here. So I'm <laughs> glad to hear that. Oh yeah. As far as like you've done this before kind of thing. But
You do like intentional like that. <laughs> Well, we've made it up to our first cable car, and this one crosses Strandby River. Right here, a little ladder. A little platform up there, and... Make our way across. <laughs> That's really cool. Is it hard to move? No, it glides pretty easily. Sweet. Yeah, it's like it's well maintained. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you good? I'm in. Okay. Oh. oh, it wants to go. Yeah, no, hold on. Um, hold on. on. Yeah, let me put my phone away. Oh, here on the other side, and off we go. <laughs> nice. Yay. Out of the woods and back onto the beach. Woo! Wow, that's a beautiful beach. <laughs> All right. We made it up to Irony Creek. It's this really nice creek right here. We're gonna get some water here and keep on pushing on. Yes, right in these uh, in these trees here is the Irony Campground, Irony Creek Campground. Beautiful area. I think Laura Creek and this creek have been the nicest creek so far that we've passed. Great water sources. A little bit of a big up for me. Oh, you got it. Oh, we just had a short little break here at Iron Irony Creek. That campground that's in that in the woods there is also known as Shuttleworth Creek uh, Shuttleworth Bite Campground. And off we go. Filtered some water, ate a little bit of food.
So the plan today is to go all the way up to Nawadi River Campground. Uh, we have to cross Nawadi River on another cable car. And shortly after the after we cross that river, uh, we'll be camping. So still a long ways to go though. <laughs> we got two very difficult sit, uh, spots today. Still not even up to them, and it's about one, one o'clock in the afternoon, and still hiking along this beautiful beach. I could definitely see that would be helpful then. Yeah, I could see that for sure. I guess it's pretty helpful. <laughs> There's been a few spots where we've had to use the ropes. Looks pretty good. We just got off the beach again, back into the forest, and there's some really cool trees.
<laughs> What's that? Oh, <laughs> stick man. <laughs> I guess we're on the right trail. <laughs> yeah. We just came down from way up there. All these roots. And back out on the beach. Going in and out of the woods. I like how it switches it up.
That's a gnarly root branch system there, jeez. Well, we stopped to take a lunch break here in this really small little pebble beach right on the water. And today for lunch, I toasted a bagel with some butter, put some avocado on it, and you know, put a little bit of hot sauce on there as well, and nibbling on some chips, some almonds, peanuts, got a pretty strong coffee here. That's all, pretty much all I'm going to have. What do you got going on over here, Poppins? <laughs> Tortilla with mustard and cheese and avocado. Sounds pretty good. <laughs> it's not just any tortilla, though. No. It's a multi-grain tortilla with black seeds. <laughs> Got some kettle chips. These are the best. Yeah, they're so good. So good. Oh, my gosh. And um, some tea. There you go. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna have finish our lunch here and keep on going. Well, we're all done our lunch, all packed up and ready to go again. Off to the next section of the trail. Uh, we're really close to our first very difficult uh, section of the trail. And the tide is coming back in. This is actually where we were sitting to have our lunch. And just in about half hour 40 minutes it's come in yeah quite far anyway still a beautiful day
Well, we're here at the pseudo campground. A couple of campsites here along the beach. It's also a bathroom. Beautiful beach. Pretty awesome mountains in the distance. This is the Cape Pseudo Ranger Station. Pretty awesome yurt. I'd love to live here. Right on the beach. I have my Crocs on. <laughs> this is the steepest section we've come up yet. <laughs> Incredibly steep. And on the other side is <laughs> really steep down. Eesh. Yeah. Get muddy. So, give you guys a little bit of an update. Uh, quite a bit has happened in the last hour. <laughs> so, what we really didn't want to happen, happened. And that was, there's one section here on the trail that it's impassable with high tide. And it's high tide, and we are right up to that spot. So, that's kind of a situation. So, we turned around and we didn't, we weren't sure if we, we should go back to Cape Subtle Campground. Uh, and then it started raining to put that pressure on top of everything else. Because um, it was already pretty much 8 o'clock. Or now it's around 8 o'clock. And so we didn't want to hike all the way back because that would be in over an hour. Um, but we also didn't have water here. So we've seen this one ravine kind of going up the hill. Um, kind of like a wash. Then it looked like other people had tried climbing it before. So kind of took a look at it just to see if we could maybe get up and over and um, bypass this impassable <laughs> area. Um, so then all of a sudden we seen this little flat spot that we're actually at right now. And sure enough, they're in that ravine that we were, or in that wash uh, right beside us here that we we're checking out. Actually has a little bit of water too, so trail gods have been extremely good to us <laughs> just like that when we thought we were completely lost and didn't know what to do we 
found a nice little spot for the tent and water and it's still still sprinkling it's not raining heavy at all i'm gonna jump out and gather some water and then tomorrow we're gonna get up really early in the morning around 4 30. <laughs> not sure <laughs> that's gonna suck but uh the reason we're doing that is because uh, any later and the tide is going to be high again. So we're going to be trapped here again um, We definitely don't want that to happen because tomorrow is our last day uh, We have about 15 kilometers from here to get to the end and we have uh, Right off right right off the bat in the morning. We'll have quite a bit of steep hills to climb and all that stuff. So I really hope it doesn't rain too much tonight to make everything slippery and wet for the morning <laughs> Um, but we will be able to have a full day tomorrow starting at like 5 o'clock in the morning. Um, so we, sh we should make it to Shoshorty Bay, no problem. Um, hopefully by 3 or 4 or 5 o'clock and maybe, uh, maybe make a fire and just relax. Uh, cause Thursday morning, today's Tuesday, tomorrow's Wednesday. And Thursday morning at 8 o'clock we're getting picked up by the Cape Scott water taxi. Um, right in Shoshorty Bay, so I'll be camping there and tomorrow and just wait for George to come and pick us up and That'll be the end of our big trip uh, this wonderful trip. So um, We're not far away from From the ocean. It's just right down there It's actually uh, the rain has slowed down quite a bit right here pretty nice little spot the water is just trickling down right from this hill right there so uh, so we're just gonna make ourselves an early supper get to bed uh, probably in an hour or so and then um, yeah get as much rest as we possibly can because tomorrow's gonna be a big early day <laughs> so all right I think that'll be the last video for today then. Um, like I said, we're just going to make supper and go to bed early. And we will see you guys all tomorrow. Peace. <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs>